you guys have an exhibition game Wednesday night against Finley, um, but you guys were also able to, to take the opportunity to play against a team over the weekend in a close scrimmage mm -hmm. without giving too many details. What have you guys really learned um, so far that you're um, hoping to maybe even grow upon more come Wednesday when you guys take the court here? Yeah, well, I learned that now that the scrimmage is over, we, we can uh, just uh, – we played Indiana. Uh, really, really phenomenal, good team, preseason top ten. Uh, you know, I've known Terry for a while, played her, um, you know, when I was at Western Kentucky and just have a good relationship. So I was really excited about the opportunity for this young group. Um, learned a lot. Um, you know, the first half, I think um, – just our situation and understanding and knowing how fast the game goes. We have a lot of young ones, um, you know, and it's funny, uh, you know, they've they've scrimmaged against our practice guys. They've they played against each other for so long. And some of the things that we were telling them that, you know, get ready, it's going to happen. They kind of experienced those. Um, you know, we turned it over definitely more than I would like uh, and uh, actually fouled. Uh, but I think it taught us a lot about – understanding time position where we're supposed to be the discipline to have each other's back uh and so I was really proud of our growth from the first half to the second half and we came out and adjusted and did some really good things so I think it was uh for the staff and I uh just a great opportunity to kind of really know who um where we are at this point because when you haven't played against someone uh, other people you really just don't know and uh you know, uh, to go into, you know, Indiana and, and, and play. Um, and, and basically we just talked about winning certain parts of the game. Um, you know, we talked about what that needed to be look like for us, um, the amount of turnovers we needed to have. We didn't reach that, so why didn't we reach that? So uh, after we uh, finish here, we'll, we'll do a little film se session and be able to just really show them the positives and also the things that we need to grow from. Talk about that experience to play a team like Indiana in the preseason. Talk about what it's like to see your team come together knowing there's a lot of new faces like you mentioned. I think that was the biggest thing for the staff and I. We were so excited about it at the end of the game. Uh, just to have so many new faces to put all these things together and to go there and, you know, be prepared and how they handled themselves. Um, you know, when you play against a really good team and you're there, even though it wasn't any fans or anything, but just to be down and go in the locker room and then come back out and be able to refocus uh, and do the things that we had talked about in the locker room, I think really says a lot about this group and how much we can grow. Uh, and I think that was the biggest thing that we wanted to look at and evaluate uh, as the staff, like how do we respond from, you know, being in a situation where we have to turn around and come back and play hard and be disciplined and do the things that we need to to win. So it was such a great experience, and uh, I know the, the players and the team uh, felt that way also too. You're used to winning. You've won a lot. Mm -hmm. Last year was trying with COVID and the injuries, and then with the win and loss record, how difficult was it for you to keep your mind where it needed to be to make sure you kept the ladies' minds where they needed to be? I think that's a great question. I think last year taught us all a lot, uh, just who we are as individuals, who we are as, you know, um, people in the midst of times when adversity hits. Uh, I think the most important thing for me that I always do, and I've always been this way, I just always relied a lot on my faith. Uh, and so I, I wanted to make sure that every single day that, I came in with the mindset that they understood and knew that, you know, last year was last year, and this year is this year. Um, but never forgetting uh, the things and the struggles that we went through so we could build upon them for this year. So uh, that's been really important. I, I've really tried to make sure uh, over the spring and the summer with this group that I really tried to make sure that I was doing that on a daily basis. Uh, how, you know, sometimes do you make sure that you stay locked into that? Uh, really focusing with Aram and with a lot of the ones, the older ones. So, you know, the Jillian Hayes, it's like, so we can make sure that we're all on that same page every day. And so, you know, we understand and know there's going to be uh, a lot of learning with this group. There's going to be a lot of things. They're going to have some ups and downs. Uh, but one thing I can say, I absolutely love this group. I love who they are. I love what they represent every single day. Uh, and I think going to Indiana, uh, really showed us at also things that we already knew, um, the type of individuals that they are. You know, to be able to 
go in a place like that, you have to have a competitive drive. You have to have the will to want to win uh, and things like that. So we saw a lot of those things. So, you know, to answer your question, I'm just really excited to, like, watch this team grow uh, and be in a situation where every single day I never forget uh, what last year and how it how it looked, how it felt. Uh, and as you said, you know, when you're a winner, you understand what that looks like. Um, and even though our wins and loss column didn't look that way, we still won a lot last year. We won a lot when it got to the end of the year. Um, you know, we won our last four out of five games. Uh, and what, you know, a lot of people don't realize is that was really awesome for the Jillian Hayes and the Roms and everyone else to know that we could finish on that note, but then also to prepare them. And that's why all the returners, I feel like, on this roster that are back got better. Uh, they went home and went to work, and I think that's what it's all about. So then you just add in a lot of players, you know, new faces and players that are really looking forward to just helping us continue to build. Um, so Jillian was speaking on how close the team is. She said they're all basically best friends. Um, and obviously last year you were speaking on it, they went through a lot, and that mm -hmm. kind of builds a bond. So have you seen a team quite this close? I know there's still a lot of new faces, but – um, as far as like Jillian was kind of explaining it, like it's they're pretty tight. Yeah, you know that's a, a definitely a great comment because they are probably one of the closest teams that I've been a part of and I've coached a long time, uh, and especially when you add all the new the you add the uh, the old and the new together. Um, but again, I'm gonna go back and say this. I said this in the beginning. It says a lot about Jillian and Rom and uh, Jada and Jaden and that whole group, Sophia, all the returners, because what they did is they opened up and they opened their arms to welcome all these new ones in. And uh, I think I give a lot of credit to my staff um, that we wanted to make sure that we brought in the right players with the right personalities, with um, who had our core values, who believed in our culture. All those things matter. And it's so awesome to hear like Jillian and the returners and everyone. And you can not even just hear them speak about it. You see it in them every single day. This group is uh, very fun loving. Uh, that's why I'm so excited uh, because, you know, they keep me on my toes all the time, uh, which is great. And I need that also, too. Um, but uh, love every last one of them and so just happy. Uh, and just really blessed that, that they've the new ones have decided to come and join in uh, with our culture and with our program because, as you said, you know, last year, um, you know, our record didn't speak for that. I mean, we struggled. We had a lot. But to bring in the core players that we brought in uh, that have the experience from some from Power 5, you know, uh, Amarita from overseas, like you just have, you know, Luigi from overseas, like you have a lot of different pieces and we're really excited about it. From a coaching perspective, looking at last year compared to this year, it feels like, you know, you obviously had a lot of challenges, adversity to go through with COVID, like a lot of teams, restrictions on, okay, we have these players available. Now you have so many additions. What's the challenge like now this year with, you know, almost an unlimited number of lineups and combinations that you can go with, it seems? Yeah, um, I think I'm going to piggyback off of what we just talked about, too. When you have a team that you really, really like uh, and that you're really close to a lot of them, it's really hard. Um, because now what's about to happen is we all know I can't play 14 players. Uh, so uh, the most important thing is making sure that they understand and know that um, we always talk, this is, this is really big for us, we talk about team and not I. Uh, and so really making sure that every single day they understand that, they still feel the love and appreciation every single day, but knowing and understanding that there's a reason, and I say this all the time, uh, that we're the coaches uh, and we have to really – make sure that they understand and know that sometimes there's going to be times and situations, and I was talking to one of the players about this, that it might be a situation where it wasn't anything that they did wrong or anything that they didn't do, um, and it might be a game they might not get in. Uh, but it might only be predicated off of what some of the returners or someone else done very, very well, and it was just in that moment that things were going well. And uh, I tell them all the time, I'm, I'm a, co a coach that coaches with her gut. And I'm a feel-good coach. I'm one of those coaches that, you know, I know kind of – it's just – I feel like been one of my biggest reasons why I've been successful. Um, you know, you have to have those relationships where you can understand and know um, and kind of see – watch that play at practice maybe, see, 
you know, the growth in that player and giving them that chance or that. So it's a lot. It's totally different. Uh, you know, you go from, like you said, there was sometimes last year we only had six players, uh, you know, so to go from that to, you know, now being 12, 13, uh, you know, 14 on the roster and, you know, it's uh, – it's different, but I would take it any day, especially with this group. Would you say the group is really buying into it? Because I know that type of trust kind of does take time. Mm -hmm. But would you say that they're – I think it's definitely growing. And I think one thing that we were really excited about as a staff is that we felt like we saw that in the scrimmage. Uh, everyone played, uh, but everyone didn't play the same amount of minutes. Uh, but everyone was cheering for each other. Everyone was excited. Um, every time someone made a big play, uh, you know, you could hear the – you know, it's a closed scrimmage, so there's no one in the in the arena. Uh, so we could hear uh, everyone cheering for everybody and trying to help. And, like, that's – that's you're right. It takes time. Uh, but I feel like that that's something that not only us as a staff have really tried to work to make sure that we've built that trust with them, but as you said, Jillian and this group, um, you know, they're trying to make sure that they have that too off the floor. The chemistry that you have off the floor really carries over to what you can bring on the floor. You mentioned bringing in the right players and the right culture. Talk about what it's like to have a group on the roster with so many from Cincinnati Talk and how it's like to finally get the full, full crowd back after yes. COVID. I am really, really excited about that. Um, you know, when I stepped foot uh, on campus, one of the first things I talked about was getting local players on our roster and hometown kids is, is just so important and uh you know I'm very fortunate that every single day we walk in the Linda building and you know we're here with football and and, and Fickle's done a phenomenal job with just not just local in Cincinnati but Ohio in general and uh, I'm really excited you know and especially you know for Jillian uh, to take the chance on us uh, and, and to stay at home. Like she said, she had opportunities. She could have went away from home, went to other, you know, Power 5 schools and things like that. Uh, and I think it really showed a lot of players that it's okay to stay here at home, and we have all these things here also too. So I'm really excited. I really am for Clarissa and Nevea to be able to come back home. Uh, you know, those, those those players are winners. And, you know, they're, it's awesome to get texts from their coaches and like, Coach, we can't wait till Wednesday. We're going to be there. You know, as a coach, that's what you, you – you really love that. And I don't love it for myself. I love it for the players uh, because at the end of the day, that's what it's all about um, and envisioning that and, and, you know, having this arena where it's rocking every day. You mentioned Coach Fickle as well. Have you had any – conversations about what it's like recruiting in state has he given you any advice yeah. on that you know they've been phenomenal you know coach fickle has uh you know all the football players and all the coaches and the staff their staff has been incredible to us uh you know we've asked questions we've went up we've sat down uh you know at the end of the day fickle has been phenomenal to me i can pick the phone up and call him at any time or you know and i think that's the greatest thing about being here uh and that's why i'm so happy uh and so proud uh you know just to you know to be coaching here and being a part of this athletic department just because of everything uh, that's that's going on, uh, but also, too, for just who the people are in general. And so just – so, yeah, so it's been great. He's – I could ask him anything. I could, you know, but I, I definitely out of respect for him and what he's doing in his program. You know, I, I shoot him a text all the time and every time they win, every time, you know, they're playing and just congratulating him and just, you know, because – you know, to be in that situation and uh, how about college game day, man, coming to town, that's, uh, that's big. Uh, but just for him to be able to put that program and those players in position every single day to go out and compete at that level, uh, and that's a lot of pressure. It's a lot of pressure. And as the, the leader, uh, to be the one that uh, trusts everyone that's around him and all his players, it, it's just pretty cool to see. Usually when a football, a football program at a school is doing really well, that kind of trickles in recruiting for other mm -hmm. teams as well. So have you seen a lot of increased kind of interest? Oh, we definitely have. And I think you, you, you hit it on the nose. And we talk about this all the time. And I've been very fortunate to coach it, you know. I, I think I learned really quick uh, getting into my coaching college career when I was at the University of Nebraska. That was where I started. And so Nebraska was really, really good. And so you understand and know um, to be able to see 
Um, you know, every time you turn on the television, you see SPN, ESPN and you see, uh, you know, that university being represented and your, the school that you work for. Uh, and then when you're talking to coaches and you're talking to everyone, so it definitely has uh, elevated our recruiting. Uh, we're really excited about it. And, uh, you know, I tell people all the time now, I, I was at Nebraska, but I, I've never been anywhere where the team was top two in the country. And so uh, I tell you what, it's a, it's not only a proud moment, I think, for, you know, football, but for all of us, uh, just a representation and for our city. And it, it's, it's great. Jillian's obviously a special player. She showed that last year, even through a trying year. But I'm sure you want her to take that next step. What does that next step look like for her? That's a great question. Uh, I think over the spring and summer, she really took uh, she really took heed to that and me telling her, uh, you know, you got to get in the best shape possible so you can make sure. The thing about Jillian that I really love, and we saw a lot of this last year, she's able to play multiple positions. And uh, when you can do that, that means you're going to be on the floor a lot. Uh, and so wanted her to make sure that she could get herself in the best possible shape that she possibly could. And, man, she took it to heart. She's, she's changed her body. Uh, she's really focused on her conditioning. Uh, and, you know, now we're going to be in situations. Like there was times in the Indiana game where she, she ran the backup point guard. Uh, so she's going to be able to do a lot of different things, and I think that's where her game has to continue to grow. She's such a winner, such a competitor, uh, you know, and she also had 10 rebounds. So, you know, it, it, those are just things that, like, you know, um, those are things that I'm looking forward to her, and I talked to her about that when we recruited her. Um, you know, I saw a lot of those things in her, uh, but I think taking that next step would be every single day, day in and day out, coming out and doing whatever this team needs, um, but also, too, helping leading this young group. You know, Jillian's still, she's a sophomore, she's still kind of young herself. Are you ever worried that you're kind of putting too much in her, or do you think she can handle it, as far um, as the leadership goes? No, it's a great question, and she still is young. And, and that's really, let's be honest, really, her freshman year wasn't really like a typical freshman year. Um, so, uh, but she's very mature for her age. Uh, and I think because of our relationship, uh, I know that if it was too much or if it becomes to be too much, she's going to come. Well, we talk about it. Uh, so, uh, and I don't put all of it on her. That's why I have a ROM. Uh, that's why we have a lot of other players that play a lot of important roles for this team. But uh, Jillian is just, uh, she embraces that. That's why she stayed at home. Uh, and she embraces that moment of wanting to be whatever that is. And you're right, at times it can be a lot. Uh, but I try to make sure... Uh, as a coach, uh, I make sure that I hold up my end with her and make sure that our relationship and that she n understands and knows that she's not in – she's in this – we're in this together and she's not by herself. How great is it to know they have a tight connection with someone who is as good as Amari Thomas, who's now at UCLA? Talk about what they have been able to learn from a player like her. Oh, that's a great uh, question. I think they learned a lot. I tell you, like, I, f I feel like that um, just – the competitive drive, the will to win, uh, the ability to never give up and just compete on a high level every single day. Um, what Amari Thomas did for us last year, I, I just don't – I don't know if any other player through everything, through the injuries, through being the one that every single game, uh, you know, coach looked to to, like, make sure that, you know, she stepped up to do what she needed to do. And, uh, you know, I, I talk to Amari a lot, all, all the time still now. Uh, you know, because uh, she's a, a, a was a big reason, I feel like, that Jillian grew, uh, Aram grew, like, every single day, like, all those returners. And I know that they still speak with her and talk with her. Uh, and uh, she'll always be a part of this program. You know, you play here for four years and, and become the type of player that you are and what you've done just means a lot. And so it taught them a lot. Uh, I think it also showed them, like, how to lead in the midst of adversity uh, and, you know, also, too, to be in a situation where you can also help others also, too. So I think that uh, that was one of the biggest things that I took away that I, f I see in them now carrying over to, to the younger ones.